is it going guys uh, another game pass game uh, and we are looking at today the moonlighter game uh, really really interested uh, with this game it looks great the pixel art style totally is what i love to see in a game um, and just the whole thought behind the game is really really cool so moonlighter is uh, it's an adventure game it has two sort of aspects to it. It has the dungeon uh, cooler side as well as the shop vendor side. Um, so it has two very different sides to it. Uh, so during a, an excavation, a set of gates were discovered in this world uh, and the shop and the, the village that, the, that you live in uh, was discovered near these gates and uh, basically what they find out that these gates are ancient passages which leads to different realms and dimensions uh, so lots of adventurers and warriors sort of started like heading towards the gates uh, and they would pass through the town to get their the armor repaired and and some of the equipment uh, fixed and any materials found they would sort of come in and, and buy for, from this village um, so that's the shopkeeping side so basically you go into the dungeons, uh, you fight mobs, you find gear, and then you can sell it in your shop. That is pretty much all I know about the game, just in a very quick nutshell. I've never played it before, um, so hopefully you will enjoy it with me. Man, I love, I love this art style. Right, new game. New game shot slot. Hard recommended. Alright, let's go very hard, yeah. Let's see let's see what hard is like. Among the stars of the night, there is a land of old and imagination. One night, mazes full of extraordinary treasures and deadly creatures appeared in this land. They called them dungeons, strange, ever-changing ruins of unknown lands. Soon a village of the slightly curious took root near the dungeons. They named this Rai Noka. Among the settlers, two groups shine brightest, heroes and merchants, glory and riches. But the dungeons proved too dangerous. They were soon closed as too many lives were lost in their depths. Life became hard for the town, especially for the young owner of the oldest shop, Will of the Moonlighter. Long dreaming of opening the mysterious fifth door of the dungeons. Oh. Continue. Oh, I'm excited. So yeah, so it looks like we're going to start heading back into these ruins, these dungeons which have been closed down. And I hope... Here we go. Man, that bag looks heavy. He is tired. Okay, so... Top left, we have our health. And we also have our, our purse, by the looks of it. Uh, top right, we have our sort of commands, I would guess. So left trigger is roll. Not sure what right trigger is. Right, so it just wants us to move around for now. Right. Okay. Uh, this is telling us to roll. Left trigger roll. Okay. So now we need to roll across. Nice. Nailing it. Okay, left. I can roll over that. 
What is that? Wow, I feel like I'm in there. Nice. Right. There's a floating potion. So, A, I'm using my brush that I clean up the shop with. Uh, these are little slimes. Okay, right trigger. Okay, right trigger uses your potion. Uh, I'm not going to worry about doing that yet because we're at 100, right? Let's see if we can find anything in here. Okay, nothing. Nothing else. Right. Okay, that's random. Right, so that's like a super, a super charged move. Okay. So now these have unlocked. Okay, what we got here? This is rich jelly. I oh, know, rich jelly is what we have on us. Sorry. We have an ancient pot. Uh, ancient pot. So it tells you, like, the selling of it. Um, has a small crack or two, but could still hold something beautifully crafted. Curious what it could have been used for. So it looks like it would get a good reaction in the store. Uh, not like crazy amount of money, but good enough. Uh, what about the fabric? Sturdy, but rough to the touch. I imagine some would want this to uh, in the creation of decorations. Okay. So this is our book by the looks of it. And it has different tabs, for, I presume for different items and different things. I presume like we will learn that along the way. So how do I quick move all LB? Right, and then how do I move it to my back? I don't know how you move it to your back. Okay. So we can just move it into our back. Okay, cool. So there should be nothing in here now. Nothing in there. Uh, let's open up this one. Oh, what have we got here? Hardened steel. Let's and foundry rests. Let's move everything. How did I? How did I find out? Okay, in the book, foundry. This is, uh, I believe, this to be remains of an old foundry. If the golems are created, what created them? Okay, what else did we find? Uh, it was the hardened steel. S strongest steel I have come across. Perfect for crafting new equipment. Okay, so that's. What happens if I say quick move all? Okay, quick move all moves it that way. So if I want to move it, I have to. Okay, do it, do it like that. Okay, that's cool. We're learning. What was a rich jelly? A jelly-like substance with many curative properties can be extracted from various slimes, essential in brewing potions. Okay, so we've got a broom spear. Uh, to six damage. And we've got a HP potion. Okay, so we've picked up a few things for our shop already. Just found another potion. We got three potions. Okay. How do I... Do they shoot each other? How, how... What is happening here? Why is there so much stuff all of a sudden? What is going on? How... What is... How am I going to fight all of this? Is... Am I meant to fail? Okay, I guess was I was meant to fail. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I was gonna say, geez, that was that was a lot of mobs. So, you know, the cave just started. 
Zenon, what a sorry looking kit. All alone now. Rest for a bit. I have you now. Okay, so that was meant to happen. I don't know how he was meant to fight all of that stuff off with a broom. No wonder, no wonder he was in trouble. Okay, so this is our shop, I think. Looks pretty sick. The art style is so, so cool. Zenon. Even as a mere child, barely able to work, you were curious of the dungeons. Who is this guy? Who is this guy? Man, look at all the plans and all the drawings. There is no doubt you carry the same obsession as old Pete. Morning, boy. Did our little merchant bite off more than he could manage? Will, listen to me. The hard truth is this. You are the last of your family, the only one left to run Moon Liar. You can't keep pushing yourself like this. Risking your life on this fifth door nonsense is foolish. Just leave it. Find some artifacts, then use your pendant to get out of the dungeon. And for Crater's sake, stop using that broom of yours, you daft boy. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Oh, what's he giving me? It's mine from back in the day. Use it. I have little need for it now. Da, 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 da. That looks like a sword and a shield. That looks badass. Now then, get up. You are wasting light. Can't have you neglect the shop all day. Let's see if I can get you through your hard head. Uh, through your hard head, some of the tricks that I picked up from your grandfather so many, many years ago. Right. So we actually have a sword and a shield now, which is pretty sick. Can I can I go in the chests? No. Look at the little shoes on. I presume that shoes on the floor. It looks cool. Really, really cool. Right, let's go. Oh, the mirror. The mirror actually like has a reflection. That's so cool. Right. Uh, into the shop. Successfully selling your merchandise takes knowledge of two things. You must know an item's value as well as its demand. Come now. Open the shop and allow the customers in. Um. Okay. Right, let's open the shop. Hold to open shop. Morning! What's this guy? What's this guy doing? Oh, he's pretty happy. A hundred. He wants to sell it for a hundred. Okay. He's waiting. Did you see that? Best expression you could hope for. The item wasn't too expensive for, for them and not so cheap for you to lose profit. Be sure to pay attention to your customers' expressions. That's how your grandfather always knew if his prices were fair. So this is the same, same item, but it's 70 more. I don't think I need to tell you that that item was obviously overpriced. Okay. Lesson learned? Yes. Finally, be careful of selling a popular item too much. If you flood the market, you will have to offer cheaper prices on your wares. Point is, charge higher when something is in high demand and in low supply. Take out your merchant notebook. It should hold all the information. Okay, so it was a merchant notebook. Right, so that gives us all the information on the stuff that we have gathered. What is up on, what is on my person? Right, right trigger. Right, so the crystallized energy. Um, so the crystallized energy. Right, how do I? We've seen the sun has fallen for the day. I bested off. You will pick, uh, pick up more on your own. Restoring the shop to its full glory, that's responsibility. That responsibility falls on you, not I. It's in your blood, Will. Make us proud. I don't even know who this geezer is. Try out a new sword. Dungeons are more perilous at night, but one can always find better artifacts. Just don't dive too far. And use that pendant, boy. Okay, cool. 
So... Go on now, these very bones of mine must rest. This is so cool, man. All right, that's my sword. How do I use my shield? Shield. Nice. And how do you how do you use the pendant that he was talking about? Moonlight. Like, uh... Okay, I presume the dungeon's this way. Is it dungeons that way? Let's just have a very quick look around the town. The art style is so cool. Can I read the notice board? Let's talk to this guy. Master, my son. When I find you. I will. Have you seen Master around by any chance? Is this Master? There you go. Oh my god, he's got bogey hanging out his nose. Get away from me! Who's this here? Tomo. Okay, I guess I'd take her stuff to... People used to think artifacts found in dungeons were created out of thin air. Just generated inside the dungeon. A current torch of golem artifacts is providing this for you all. Okay, so... We need to go... Who's this guy? We need to go to the dungeon. Have you found any new culture artifacts in the dungeon, Will? I always found it fascinating how all the items we find in the dungeons appear to be from entirely different civilizations with unique cultures. Okay, cool. This is really, really cool. I'm really, 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 really interested. First impressions are good. Right, how... What are all these different signs? Are these tech dungeon? Okay, there's all different dungeons. Forest dungeon. Dungeon recommended for heroes. Okay, what's this one? What's this one? Golem dungeon. Available to, mer to merchants and heroes. Okay, I'm going in. Right, so we've now got a sword and shield. Not a broom. Right, how do we use this pendant? Ah, B. Pendant at the bottom of the screen. Okay. So let's... Okay, the sword is much... Much better than... Um, the brew. Alright, how do I look at my... How do I look at my bag again, was it? I can't look at my bag. Why? Now I can... Why can't I look at my bag, I wonder? Okay, nice. Right, so far these... These dungeons are, pr are pretty easy. Can I break this stuff? No, I can't. Can't break that, okay. Okay. Took a lot of damage then. Let's grab this. Okay, it does it does like two strikes? Wow, I am really in. Hammered there. Right. Let's see how much this health potion does. Okay, it does quite a lot. Let's carry on it up. What is this? This like, was an old uh, area. This is cool. Can I search the back? There's a body there. What is with this? To a person of hopefully bar better luck than I am. My time is short. I took injury from the strange creature across the room. My pendant all but shattered from the scuffle. Check him out. Though I'd say if I fared better than he. He caught me spying on him near the guardian room. He dropped a couple of items when he fled. One of which is this map diagram. Wherever it is, I was right. They called me crazy. He said, oh, this is old Crazy Pete. This is old Pete. 
Agon lost his marbles, but I was right. Each guardian of a dungeon must possess a key of sorts. All of them linked to that giant locked door outside the dungeons. The fifth door of Wynocka. Sadly, I won't be around to see the door open. To Heather found me, I, po uh, I apologise for the smell, but the diagram should be around here somewhere. Please open the fifth door of Wynocka. These dungeons are not what they seem. The diagram should be around here somewhere, over here. Big boss gonna kill me. I suppose to let them all out? Now I have to chase this weird creature that stole my stuffs. Big boss gonna be upset with little me. Okay. So... The four keys open the big door. That's cool. Right, uh... Right. So, I can't use the pendant unless I have enough material by the looks of it. I think I can use it now, I don't... Okay, I can. Right. But we... Ah, oh, maybe I have to, because there's not a way out of here. Maybe that was meant to happen. Okay, let's... Let's head out of here then. So cool. Right, where am I? Okay, so... Okay, so this is like the... Summary, right, of... What I escaped. The, they're the mobs that I killed. I killed six. I didn't open any chests. And then this is the stuff that I found, I presume. On the left-hand side. That's pretty cool. I don't know if I can sell any of it in the shop. Here we go. Here's the old geezer. Ah, the young proprietor of Moonlight has returned. You look intact. Finally learn to use that pendant properly. It's about time, boy. What are you holding? Is that a chart of the dungeons? Where did you get this? You found old Pete. Dad. See, this is what happens when you chase what's behind that door. Leave it, Will. Just get the artifact you need from the Golem dungeon. And look after Moonlighter. Now, I noticed some posts on the on the town board that may interest you. Some shops want to move in. Attempt to revitalize this town. Apparently, they need some startup capital first. Would be nice to see some new life in Wanaka. Nice indeed. So basically, I can... I can invest in the town by the looks of it. By earning money, I can then invest and buy other shops or partially own. Investments, yeah, cool. Town. Oh, wow. How... This game is so cool. And this is the shop upgrades. Let's look at the, the, the town upgrade. So, Vulcan's Forge. Do you feel the dungeons too hard? Tired of your old weapon? I can solve that if you bring me enough money and materials. So this is a forge. Uh, the wooden hat. Visit the wooden hat to find potions and artifacts. Okay. So they're the first two. Really cool. So that's five, 500. They're both 500. Then they jump. Look at that one. Five, uh, 5,500. 20,000. 70,000. Okay. So what about shop upgrades? So shop level 1. I presume like these will then go up as you go. So it allows you to sell more stuff. The shop upgrades. Cheap sale box. Items sold in this sale box will have a 75% discount. Iron cash register. This useful cash register will entice customers to add a tip. Wow. Okay. Comfy bed. Will grant adventurers extra health in the morning. Wow, I need that. I have 100 gold. I need 4,000 for that. And a small chest. Extra special items. Okay, so... There's lots of stuff that... 
You can work towards straight away, straight off the off offset. Can I head back to the dungeon like, if I want? No checking these. Let's let's go check in the dungeon. Is it still night time, right? I don't know how it goes to morning. Do I have to sleep? This is really, really cool. Um, I'm liking the whole shop side and dungeon side. Normally, it's a dungeon game, right? And you find items and you just level up. I don't know. I think, yeah, so they're randomly generated as well by the looks of it, the rooms. So it should be different every time you come in, which is cool as well. I need to figure out storing my stuff as well because I don't have much space in my bag. Right, what's that? That's a new item. Oh, I think I'm, oh no. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have stead, stood side on to him. Right. What is this? What's this in the corner? Read. Why do our tools keep disappearing? Chambers full of precious stone are left untouched. But rooms and chests holding our most basic tools keep vanishing. So we're picking up the basic stuff. Oh, it's a healing pool. Oh man, this is so cool. Really, really cool. Well, I guess this is a boss. Wow. Okay, I, need, I forgot I could jump, right? Okay. Uh... Right. Jumping is clearly uh, important. Well, I think that's the exit, I would guess. Let's get back in this. Two. I didn't realize I only had two health left. Man, that was close. Okay, it only takes you up to 90. Why don't I get out and get back here? I'm not going to complain, right? 90s for free is, is pretty good. Uh, there was a door right at the beginning, which we didn't look through. Okay. What is that flying thing there? I think we're gonna have a whole load of gear to sell in the shop. Oh no, we've got to do it quick. The chest is slipping. Sinking. Okay. Did I get it in time? Okay, so that was a time-based thing where... Quick move all. Focus, so why can't I take any more of these? Okay, it must be a different sword. What's that? Maybe I can't stack any more of them. Let's have a look how much these are worth. The broken sword. Fairly useless. Could be easily smelt down. Okay, so if it's useless, let's just leave it for now. Let's check out a few more rooms. It's red lava? No, it's alright, it's alright. I'm... What is that? So I've just got to make it come forward and then hit it. Might help if I actually hit it. Oh, that's that one dead.
Nice, right, room cleared. Right, we definitely need to empty our bag. What is all of this stuff? Quick move it all? I can't. Destroys one artifact curse. Destroys one artifact in direction. Shown upon returning to town. I don't know what these are. That's a cur destroys curse. Hmm, I'm not sure what, what they are. The hardened steel I want to take. I guess you can only have five. Maybe I should get rid of this root. And take the hardened steel. I feel like hardened steel is going to be more valuable. No. I don't want to. I don't want to do that. Okay, that's what I wanted to do. All right. Let's let's carry on a little bit more. I know we can't. There's probably no point actually. Okay, that was a mistake. happens when I die I lose everything I definitely should have uh, definitely should have not done that I should have left I knew my bag was full oh I could have just can you just teleport could I just have teleported in that room rather than fighting I kind of feel like that would have been that would have been a better option and then I wouldn't have lost all of my gear. And now I've got to go to work in the shop. Man, I've just lost all of my... How do I... How do I change? Let's play some stuff. How do I figure out how much it's worth? Um, vine? Let's... Grab, hold, stack. How, how do I, how do I work out how much it's worth? Let's change this to 100, right? 100 was a good price, so we can definitely get say 105. Let's okay. Then how much can we? Let's have a look in our book. Find out what this route is worth. Fine. Strong yet flexible material used by the tangle. Okay, right. Where does it actually tell me how much it's worth? I guess I've got. To f I guess I've got to figure it out. So I think it might be worth two each. Shall we try? Shall we try five? Is this p for ten? For a stack of ten? Let's try thirty gold. Let's just see what happens. Um, let's open up the shop. What else have I got on me? Teeth stone. It has a two next to the bottom. Don't know what that means. Two gold. I guess, I guess we just. Okay, so I think there's different sections which tell you how much it's worth. So this is 3,000 worth. Two, so it's 275 the top half or the bottom half? Okay, so it's in between two and 275. I presume it goes in order. So with Vine being right at the bottom, we can maybe go Teeth Stone for being five and we'll see what happens. So maybe sell a stack of 10 for 50. 
and see what see what happens. No. I want to sell the whole thing for 50. Okay, so it does it. Individual is 5. So therefore, a stack of 10 is 50. Okay, let's... Let's open a shop. Let's see what happens. Obviously, I bumped up the price by 5 on the crystal. He's happy with that. The root... I put for 30, they're happy with that. Let's let's sell that. And they're happy with that. So have I have I undersold stuff maybe? Hey, what, what's this guy coming here for? There's nothing left, bro. We we all showed up we're all sold out today. I, 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 who's this guy? I guess I guess I can play some more items and just try and bump up the price this time. Right, so the vines we just sold for three a pop. Let's try four and see what happens. If anyone's interested, let's see if his reaction is still good, bad, but he's still taking it. So, what does low mean? So he. He was not happy with that price. I think ro roots were really low as well, or more than teeth stone. So there are, okay, so it tells you their reactions now. So you have to like unlock. So if you sell it for free, they're happy. If you sell it for four, they're not happy. Okay, so root is probably, I would say six, right? Let's try selling this for six. A pop. And let's see how that goes. If anyone's interested in this, we are already making a lot of money. We're up to 325. He is happy! We are we are nailing this. We are we are very good merchants. Right, what's the last item that I have? Wait, we still, which is above root. So let's say seven. I'm just going to take a pop and say seven. No, let's let's risk it. Let's go eight. Let's go eight a piece. Okay, let's have a look. If he was happy with eight, or if someone's going to come in and grab it for eight. Okay, so eight is ridiculously cheap for that. I massively under, I massively undersold that then. Um, where was, where was that? Down here, in the golem mine. So, really, really undersold that. Eight, and they're, they're amazing. So maybe 10 next time. So can I close the store now? Close shop. Let's close shop. Everyone out. Nice. So this gives us a breakdown of what we sold today. The profits that we made. Popularity. Obviously the route went down. That was because I overcharged. But wow. We absolutely nailed the first day in the shop. Up to 465 gold. Absolutely bossing it. We look great. Read. What's this? Okay, that was that, that paperwork we found. Uh, open. So this is where we can store our items that we, we don't want to sell just yet. We've got two lots of chests. Wow, right. Really, really excited. This game is excellent. I'm loving it. Huge thumbs up. Um, the fact that the dungeons are randomly generated is amazing. Um, the whole shop aspect to it is really really cool and novel to me i've never played a game where it's a dungeon dungeon crawler and what you actually find you can then choose whether you want to keep it for yourself to upgrade your items to get further in the dungeon or if you want to sell the items to increase your shop's profits really really cool 
really really beautiful looking game i am really really happy and i will no doubt put hours and hours into this game i absolutely love it huge thumbs up definitely if you've got the game pass get this game give it a go it's if you've got game pass it's for free you might as well do it really really good fun uh, and i can't wait to continue playing this game have a good day i'll catch you later